It's been almost 10 years since I was in school, and after hearing about how challenging the vet tech program would be, I'm really intimidated. I'm not sure I have what it takes to pursue this career while also balancing being a mom. I know you wanted to, you were talking about going to the vet and stuff like that, and just talking about schooling. Today when I talked to her and she's like, it's a lot of science, a lot of math, I'm like, You know what, it. though? There's always fear. She's like, Fear's... you got to learn every single dog breed, every single cat breed. I'm like, what the f I think you're just afraid of failing. I Probably. Really, I feel like that's what it is. I feel like it's just, you're, you know, you're scared to jump off. I mean, yeah, sometimes, because then it's like, all right, say I do it, or I go, and I'm like, f this, I don't, I don't like this, and then it's like, I'm letting people down. Oh, Myself okay. down, all you right. down, my kids down. Like, that's how it feels. Can I just be like a receptionist at a vet tech? I would leave him like that because I'd get the love on him all. I wouldn't have to put him down. I just want to do something. Okay. It's a sign that I need to go back to therapy. <laughs> really? So, yes, like, to find this... out, Kate, what do you really, what do you want to do for the rest of your life? Isn't the goal anyway in life is just to find out what you're passionate about and find your way to make money off of it? You know what I mean? Like whatever you're passionate about, make money off it, boom. I want to rescue hundreds of chihuahuas. <laughs> 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 okay, you know what? No, listen. And charge adoption fees. Whatever. For people. That is totally You possible. rehabilitate them. Your passion for the animals. Yeah. You can, save them, you, you rehabilitate them. You can make money them. off that. So we'll have 500 chihuahuas. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, kitty pretty. Oh, and they'll all sleep with me every night. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> I'm moving out. We get divorced. That's okay, I'll have 500 I know, you'll be all right. I'll be totally good. <laughs> and I'd have a bird. And I'll have a bed to myself. <laughs> so I think this is sounding great. <laughs>
Yeah, it's yeah, like, do you, I don't do want him, it's like I want him to be here, but then I don't want him to come back, because then it's pointless. Uh, uh, okay. She went on the airplane, yes. She'll be back, though. Give Taylor a hug, she has to go bye-bye, okay? It's okay, get a kiss. Bye-bye, Bye-bye, Ryder. For everything you need to know about preventing pregnancy and protecting yourself, go to itsyoursexlife.com. I want to do things differently with Dimitri than I have before, so I let Gary know about him, and I hope he's supportive. Well, I was talking to Amber, and she had mentioned that she met somebody, so I don't know exactly, you know, the ins and outs of how they met. I think it was on the, I think it was on the internet. I know he is from France area, more so Belgium. So um, I know he has kids. I, I know one's 13, the other one might be 11. Or... It's just, it's gonna be hard if he's got kids there and then Amber's got kids here. Like how, how will a long distance relationship work? And I think there's a language barrier too. But you know, there is one language we all speak. It's love. Sure. Like we oui, we. Oui. I know the last time we was over at Amber's with Leah, um, Amber promised Leah that the next person that she gets with, that if they don't click, then he's a no-go. Things like that. And I did talk to Leah a little bit um, about it, and she said, you know, I, I want my mom to be happy, but I want her to take things nice and slow. And I think we agree with that. Yeah. You got to really make sure it's the right person for you. You know. Hello. Dimitri is arriving tomorrow from Belgium, and I'm excited to get to spend time with him. Hi. Hi. You look cute. Yeah, you too. I'm comfy. Comfy. Do you know what that is? You know what comfy is? Comfy. <laughs> comfy. Comfy is. What's another word for comfy? I don't know. Comfortable? Comfortable? Oh, comfortable. oh Jesus Christ. I... You are my new teacher for my English. Yeah. yeah. You're doing your suitcase? Yeah, I finished. I am ready. Yeah? For your 15 hour yeah. flight? Yeah. No, I'm nervous. No, what are you nervous for? Because the first time. Don't be nervous. Yeah. Don't be nervous. I'm scared. No. Are you excited? Coming for like three months? Hey, that's... Yeah, really. God. <sighs> Bye, babe. Hey. hey, Angie. He needs drew your name for Secret Santa, and she wants to tell you what your gift is. Your gift this year, my Emma came together, and your followers came together and your house is paid off. You'll have enough money to get your house paid off and you don't have to worry anymore. They came together.
let's have a, a final prayer for Angie. And God, we thank you so much for these past two years that um, you've given us with Angie. God, we thank you that for every hug that we've had, um, every smile we've seen on her face, everybody said? Amen. Remember, Gannon, he has to be watched at all times. You guys can't just fall asleep. I if can you... take care of him. I just don't know if I can take care of myself. That's your job. <laughs> That's my job. <laughs> I was searching for an open door. I was looking for a peace of mind. It's a feeling that... Hey, what's wrong, baby boy? <laughs> Hi. Come here. <laughs> What do you think? I'm going to be everyone's fairy godmother. You're going to be the prettiest one there. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Love ladies. you. Just love everybody. Don't spend any time hating. Just love everybody. Give me the kisses. Yay, mommy! Give mommy good sugars. I don't like this. Mm -hmm. It's your birthday! Yay!